Onivia, League of Legends highlights. As well as the Yumi. AD well. jungler though, so. AD jungler, and then if people want to index into MR for team fighting, Twitch is going to have a field day. It's going to be great. I'll just pop you guys with my yeah. alt and stuff. So uh, it does seem a little surprising. Finds as Inspired is going after the Drake, so not quite as slow as the first Drake that we saw in game number one. Not exceptionally quick either, but it is. be able to get a prio at different points in time here. Jose going for a wraparound gank on impact. They no impact has no flash. Philip. Dropping the ulti, finding some damage here. A power transfusion while the ulti is still active. Impact running through the enemy turret. Takes two turret shots. Eats the oranges and tries to get away. Fill up into the pool. And Jose the Odo sneaks in to take the credit. Get the able to find the kill. Still a nice little opportunity here. Actually, FlyQuest is not actually calling this playoff. They're going to stay around. Oh, no, they're still... They're going for the element of surprise here, but Inspired has found the two-man sleep. JoJo goes over the wall, and Jose the Odo is not long for this world. Takoi tries to get out, but it's an Ari with no mana. Luckily, he has Philip there right now. as well, but then when they go for the re-engage, just a nice double E, double alt from Inspired splits this fight. So it's basically a 3v2. Hold on, Balin. Bottom side, now Impact. He cannot get away from the Yumi Twitch as easily, and he's going to be taken out. Jose the Odo trying to stand and fight here with the Drake Bit. He's going to secure that dragon. Evil Genius is trying to get some kills on the back end now as Johnson's going to be taken low, but Jose the Odo looking to spin and win yet again. Johnson gets taken down. FlyQuest trying to get the hell out of town now, but Danny's still looking for more. Philip finds his way into the fight, lands the ulti on to two. Takoi grabbing the kill on Vulcan. Evil Genius is... Vulcan, nice charm by Takoi to set that one up. And... Jojo, nice escape there. Lands the root and then the EOA. Yeah, but even though that fight looked really good for FlyQuest, even though they got the Drake, even though, even though, even though 700 gold lead for the side of Evil Geniuses, who are still ahead overall in the game. FlyQuest going for Rift Herald number two. Remember, they did get that first one. It did result in two plates, but nothing more. EG are bringing bodies up towards this pit, but it doesn't look like they're going to be there in time to contest it. It's secured by FlyQuest. Eyeball still on the ground. They want to at least try to grab this and get out. Hafrobu takes it. See you later, Jose. I can't help you, bro. Yumi, get the package and get the safety. I was wondering... Able to get yeah. a little bit further of a push in to then go move into jungles and stuff. I think it's it's... Can't be overstated how powerful that is. It's the most important turn on the map in a lot of ways. Oh, Jose the Odo getting caught out here again, trying to disengage with the help of Afromu, who once again must abandon ship as Jose is caught and exploded. The dragons stacking will not be like the importance, but you'll see a lot of people fighting around Dragon. Having that angle will be huge. Takoi looking for the setup here. Everfrost gonna get the slow. Guarantees the charm and Jose Diodo getting a little bit of revenge for those last couple of big issues with Everfrost is this item. You don't even have to hit the root part of it. It fires at this 90 degree cone. And if you're in the slow at all, the skill shot's no longer a skill shot. Hit the charm, you're gone. I love it. Still feeling good. I was checking the, the money printers, how much the, the government has made. Uh, impact on his Q. Uh, Mark, we might have to get back to that here in a moment. Danny gets jumped on, but he's able to get right on back. And Jose the Odo shot to pieces again. Evil geniuses just keeps finding him. Impact teleports into the fight, but he's not there in time to do a whole lot. Philip taking a bit of damage on the Thinking back. that there's going to be downtime, and there's not. I love it. This is a great problem to have. I love it. Impact now getting caught out. Johnson on the wraparound with the submarine coming in. Yeah, they've got the ultimate here for the Twitch. Not even they've submarine. Got the okay, Johnson just going to go ahead, pop that ulti. Rat-a-tat-tat, spray and fray, whatever you want to call it. It's gold in Johnson's pot. We just picked... The Sona. We just had our first fight for this for these 15 minutes. We now just we can wait. The dragon. Yeah. Of course, we're not going to fight. But like we said, this is actually an incredibly right. Like that. Yeah. The thing looks like it should hurt you. But the Runan's bolts are the most unthreatening thing ever. They look like a projectile from a trash mob in level one of an enemy. Oh. Your team has so many pieces of damage. You just throwing some more on with the night harvest. Yeah, just get everybody in there. Jose the Odo jumps in, looking for the ulti here on Impact, who gets away from the first knockup, but he can't get away from the follow-up. Jose the Odo grabbing a kill there. Jose the Odo's been getting picked on by Top Jungle. What are FlyQuest gonna do? Well, FlyQuest are leaving Philip up there on the tier two. Those are the Odo backing away now. Danny lands some good damage over the wall. Jojo throws out the Everfrost. They lock down Jose Diodo, and the bullying continues. But they're going to bully everybody this time. Three dead on FlyQuest. Mark to the top side. And FlyQuest just left them there on an island. Three kills over immediately means a Baron. Huge macro blunder by FlyQuest that evil geniuses instantly punish. 
Lock on your alt, twitch alt, insta kill everyone because they were grouped up with like Yumi root over the top or something. But it gets harder and harder to pull that off as the enemy team just has more vision control. They can spot you coming. They'll be able to grab this inner as the last little prize for them. Yep. Then it's really going to be about the soul point fight, cloud soul available for, for fly quest if they can find an angle. Default to who's always in the fights. That's the way I do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on. Philip. Oh, nice reaction there from Philip. However, the barrel chain is there. Impact only needed the second one. He put the third one in for style. He was stunning on him. He said, I know where you're going to go and put the third barrel down on the escape path of Philip. They find that kill before the dragon is up. They might not even go back to it. They have a huge wave here. They're going to be able to crack this inhibitor. Vulcan I throwing up the white flag. Of the, the river from mid lane. I mean, when you think about it, you got Sona, you've got Ezreal, you've got Gangplank. Like, this EG squad is very good at disengaging. So if FlyQuest have a move to make, it needs to be coordinated. It needs to be powerful. It needs to be soon. Oh, but we've got the potential sleep coming out here. That one's going to find Jose. As Jojo turns his attention over onto Philip, and now FlyQuest looking to counterattack here a little bit. Jose Diodo staying alive, inspired, grabbing the killing spree, and Johnson's already down. Impact stays alive too, and he still ain't dead yet. Evil geniuses only lose one, and they murder the whole damn crew. The environment be damned. The bad guys take this fight. EG looking for the last kill to find the ace. There it is. Bud Light Ace available for EG. Find that kill. They're moving into the top lane and to try and end this game potentially. Oh, they're just burning the whole thing down. I like what FlyQuest trying to get some turrets. They're gonna get the Baron. Impact's looking to grab himself an inhibitor. This is feeling over. I spoke too soon. I said it was over. Technically, game's still going on, but there's just so little opportunity now for FlyQuest to get back in the game. They're waiting for the respawn on JoJo before taking this Baron. There they go. JoJo's back up. Yeah. Greeting the smite for fun, waiting for reset, which, and just too hard for FlyQuest to find someone to get. They do get JoJo in the middle of all that, that damage that they were dropping. Show is Tom and Jerry for a reason. You can't have one without the other. Otherwise, you just end up having a bad time. And you can see the difference down in the team fight between AD carries nearly triple Ooh. the amount of damage for Danny's Ezreal. And now FlyQuest trying to get the hell away again. Sequoi nearly dead. Johnson gonna get caught out there by the Gangplank. Ulti Vulcan comes in for the stun. Glacial Path to chase nice down the enemy AD, but a lovely charm coming out from Takoi, guaranteeing nobody's gonna die on the way out, at least for now. True Shot Barrage misses everybody. Philip barely hobbles back into the fountain. Evil geniuses have taken the mid lane inhibitor. Bot lane inhibitor about to respawn now. EG still looking to end the game. Nexus now open. Oh. Two kills coming in. Both carries already dead. Jose Diodo buying time, but there's not much left to buy. Evil geniuses, 18 to 8, 36 minutes in. They're even looking to pad the stats a little bit. Ezreal firing the Qs in there towards the Yumi. Danny wants it. Afro won't give it. Doesn't matter. EG takes the win. EG closed that game out pretty cleanly. 18 kills to 9.